And now to the agricultural fields where sugarcane plantation workers at three state-owned millers, namely Muhoroni, Chemelil and Sony, are calling for equitable distribution of 5 billion shillings availed by the government for clearing farmers and workers' arrears. Now Kenya Union of Sugar Plantation Workers Secretary General Francis Wangara claims Zoya Sugar Company has been offered more cash than other state-owned millers. <laughs> We are taking that the 150 million that is paid to Nzoya marks as a benchmark, as the most minimal amount that should be paid to all the companies. And if they have paid 150 million to Nzoya, they must also pay the other companies 150 million equal amount to all the companies, so that nothing, no, no company is disadvantaged. When you look at the arrears of the farmers, they paid equally 80% across the board. They have now paid the balance of 20% across the board. They have not discriminated the farmers, and here they are discriminating the workers. It is not right and will not accept this, because this is going to cause a rift between the workers and which we cannot entertain. The government needs popular support, and that popular support cannot come through discrimination. And therefore we are urging that this amount must be paid to, the, to, to these people equally. The 150 is a benchmark, and it has to be paid to everybody. Or else, we are, we are saying that we are giving you a notice, and I'm giving a notice of two weeks to get a proper response to this issue. Failure to which, I will ask these other companies to demonstrate against this issue. Oh, this is to continue.